you guitar people on the YouTube. I'm here with uh, Andrea from Mane Guitars. It, am I saying that correctly? Yes, Mane? Sure. Mane Guitars. <laughs> I speak Italian, look at me! Mane Guitars, easy. Of course you have to say Mane Guitars, otherwise it's not insulting. You know, you have to be a little bit of an ass, and I am. So, I've looked at Mane Guitars for quite a while. I actually have a um, friend who plays one. And um, it's one of those guitar designs that actually just is different. But not so different that it sucks, because a lot of people try different designs and it ends up to be different but not good different. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, I know, I understand. And this is, the, the, the shape is clearly, you can immediately say, oh, that's a money guitar. You totally see that. But it's not out of this world different to be different. It's, it works. It has a purpose. Yep. So uh, the difference is uh, to let you play more with more comfort so the shape is not just a fancy or something that uh, hit you but is uh, functional and they actually have the guitars here that they started in the 80s yes. there's a little bit of a history you know well we'll show you this is a money guitar from the 80s so this is not a shape that they just came up with when i first saw them i think probably 2000 something no this is actually this has been around for a long time. Yeah, 87. So uh, it was made, uh, this is the prototype. Yeah, hold this, yeah. tell the story, yes. I'll show it. This is the prototype, I did it in uh, 87. So you see that uh, the shape uh, has uh, its own uh, character, character. I made it uh, to be functional, balanced and uh, with a certain style that is uh, still modern, I would say. Anyway, uh, in the time, this shape was used by a uh, rock player, jazz player, uh, any kind of, uh, l let's say, I didn't have that many country players. <laughs> okay, I can, I can totally see that. Anyway. And it's, it's it's definitely evolved through the years a little bit. can still see this is like a modern guitar this is the actual shape and you can clearly see that it's there it has evolved a little bit um i am amazed right now about the weight of this because it should be lighter isn't it po polonia. yeah polonia and that's a really light wood right yes sure so why isn't the guitar super light uh, this is the the, um, the weight comes mostly from the bridge and the pickups because the body is uh, very light. Yeah, so kick the Floyd. Nobody needs it. Come on, kick it out of there. <laughs> um, okay, so let, let, let me show you guys. I mean, it is a really nice, you know, stained Polonia. Polo, Polonia. That's that's what it is. Nick Huber started building guitars with this and they are extremely light, but Nick is not really the, the Floyd guy, so I can see that the Floyd adds quite a bit of weight. Um, really nicely designed pickups. I really like the grain of this wood. I like the nothing in the fretboard. You guys know me, nothing in the fretboard. This is a feature, one of my feature. I did it since uh, 87. I didn't put the reference dots on the fretboard, so... It's my preference, I mean, I, I don't need it. So check out this, this is light. Holy, this, this bass feels lighter than the guitar. And it's a behemoth, I mean, it's ginormous. But that's light, you know why? No Floyd, because you don't need a Floyd on a bass. Maybe Floyd needs a, no. Not even Floyd needs a Floyd on a bass. Let's look at the neck there. 
So let's see what kind of tuning keys Mane uses. They are Mane. We don't know. Could be anything, really. These are Korean, but I have also the um, Goto. I use also. Good choice, Goto. good choice. Uh, Goto on the higher level instruments. Serious. Very nice. So what's the price point for this? Three thousand, three thousand one hundred and sixty. Okay, let's look at some pretty guitar. This is thirty-nine hundred. We're going to look at that, and the weight is normal, normal weight. Is, uh, give, give, give us some specs. Uh, this is chestnut uh, body, chambered, and uh, yeah, it's chambered. But the, you know, ch uh, chestnut is uh, a bit heavy. And the top is um, Italian poplar, and this is a very nice uh, board, very nice. Goto locking tuners, and it's a nice, small headstock. You guys get very pissed off about headstocks. Oh, I really like the Heritage guitar, but the headstock sucks. You suck! Okay? Fuck that Gibson shit. Okay, you, you are so into headstocks and headstocks. If it's a good guitar, why would you care about the headstock? Unless it's one of those deans that you can literally kill an army with. This is... A nicely designed, small, to the point headstock that works. I like it. It's simple. I know you guys don't like the McMull headstock. You know why? Because you're stupid. It's a good headstock. I know it's just a line, but it works. You, Quentin James, I know that you're not going to enjoy it. The McMull headstock sucks. You suck. So, this is cool. Sure this, this right here, that's my guitar. That's my color. Okay. If you give this to me, I cannot give it away. I want to show you that I do the same measure for Bolton and uh, Setin, so you can choose the same guitar in. Ah, you exactly can the same. Exactly so this is. This is chestnut. Also, this is not chambered. Not chambered. The other one was Michael Bolton. This is Setnik, Michael Setnik. But look at that turquoise neck. I mean, you know I go for turquoise, right? You know that. Come the fuck on with a nice volute ultra small headstock i mean it's really tiny she said nothing in the fretboard which is my kind of thing and then right there blue to turquoise two humbuckers this guitar is pretty much made for me other than the Floyd, but I could live with the Floyd because look at that color. That's just amazing. What is that inlay? Uh, this is uh, made for a ca the customer that is El Pao. <laughs> so he sent me the artwork and I burn it with the laser. Beautiful. But I actually saw, he, you hold this, I get the other blue one because the top was actually better. Yeah, that top, that's the top right there. So here we have a bolt on, Michael bolt on. And that top is insane. See, if that had the neck also in the turquoise, you got me. The more blue and the more turquoise there's on the guitar, the better. So the neck has... So the middle looks like it's plywood. Yes, it's made uh, on purpose 
from a company they made it make uh, for me so this is to get a stable neck straight neck uh, not moving and then uh, the fretboard is rising it's very thin so you don't get the sound of uh, too much rising yes very thin this is the laminate that is beach and then very thin fretboard that is rising. Rising do not get uh, moisture, so it's very stable, very stable neck. It's uh, 34 years that I work to get a very stable neck. <laughs> so, yes, work it for it. And Wilkinson Bridge for my buddy. Go Goto. Goto. Goto Wilkinson. Okay. Five positions, nice. Yes, and then uh, you have uh, you have uh, serious parallel oh. for neck or bo or um, bridge. So, if you look at this guitar, the first thing that pops up to me is how far the bridge is back. There isn't a lot of body behind the bridge, which already shows you that the whole guitar has a different shape. There is, on a stretch, there'd be this much more guitar in the back. Yeah. On an SG, not a, on, a, on some Les Pauls, it would be more. But that shows you that the whole guitar is probably more balanced than some others. I'm pretty sure on a strap, this is very stable. Yes, you see the positioning is... Uh, 11th fret. Yes, a little uh, over it. And uh, I show you that this one is a Fender scale. And this is uh, 640, so I have also two different scales. And uh, so you can choose the tone because scales give you a different tone. And uh, so I offer to customer also this possibility. I, 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 I love your work. I got to say that I love that it's different. I love how it has evolved over the years. I love the simplicity in the fretboard. Yeah, you can go with crazy inlays and sometimes that's nice. But I like the simplicity and a guitar like this with this color and this top and this ergonomic but a little bit exotic shape makes a statement. You don't need anything in the fretboard. And again, let me come back to the headstock. Designing an original headstock that looks awesome but is also functional apparently is difficult. And I think Mann absolutely nailed it because it's a very small headstock that does the job with six in line and in this case goto and that's the right choice very nice how much is this uh this one He's running, he doesn't know, he has no idea. So three nine, okay, this thing is 4,000 bucks realistically. It's not an inexpensive instrument, but it's made in Italy by people that have been developing these for the last 700 years or well, since the 80s, you know, something like this. Well, I will link to Manne below. You will now stop watching this video after, uh, well, I would say the animals at the end, but first, Thank you, Andrea, for your time. Thank you guys for your time. And uh, now, animals at the end.
Search my heart and soul free